Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 which is build 15.05.8. So very interesting, uh, we got a build four days after the release of 15.05.5 and uh, it was right smack in the middle of my Windows Insider hour which was kind of cool so we you know did a little install while talking about the Insider program and everything. Uh, what's new in here? Zero. The download went super fast. Um, it was actually smaller than I thought. Um, I actually measured this build to be smaller than the last build we had. Um, actually, the last build that I've checked the size was 2.98 gigabytes. I estimate that in this build it was about two and a half gigabytes because since I downloaded over the um, my, my cell carrier, I could see immediately the effect on how much data and uh, it was about two and a half I'd say. So it seemed to be smaller than usual. Apart from that, installed super well, no problems with the usual time, maybe a little long to install uh, once again, but um, you know I was watching so it's kind of difficult to know. Uh, so like I said, no new um, features in here, really only bug fixes. What's interesting, we've lost the watermark and when we look at the Windows version, we see that we are at version 1703 and we see that there's no more time limit. So basically it doesn't expire. Um, I've seen some posts of people saying, well, if this is pretty much our, you know, RTM released to uh, mainstream, yet there are some issues that I still don't uh, you know, like to talk about it really. So I'm not ready yet to say, yeah, this could be it. They fixed a big number of issues on this build, really a, little, a big number of issues, uh, but less than last time. So, you know, they fixed a few issues with a um, number of inbox apps failed to launch, so that's a store. Uh, and I had a few issues with that and apparently it's fixed. Fixed issue causing some universal Windows platform apps to unexpectedly appear with their app package name. Fixed. Um, issue where going to full screen or maximize Microsoft Edge when uh, Edge window was snapped to a size smaller than half the screen would trigger back navigation. Fixed crash insiders have sometimes experience in recent builds accessing Wi-Fi settings page. Um, fixed issue where the desktop session sometimes crashes for insiders after locking the PC uh, and was set locked on sleep. Uh, so they couldn't log in again, some things like that. Um, fixed issues where renaming an encrypted PDF would reset default PDF reader and improve video playback quality for larger device, um, on, for, on the target device when using Miracast to a wireless, wirelessly connected IDPI PC or device. Still known issues in here, still the gaming issues with hardware configuration that caused the broadcast uh, to not be right. Uh, still that bug, if you tried F12 to get dev mode in Microsoft Edge, uh, still crashes. PCs that um, may fail to update because of system PTE misuse error and some apps may crash due to the misconfiguration of advertising ID. What they say is to reset uh, simply or uh, basically try to, uh, you know, if you reset or you, there's a, uh, also a um, registry fix for it. And um, finally, there's a bug where if you need to restart your PC to a pending update, um, it might actually pop up a dialog and uh, you need to check uh, Windows Update and see if restart is required. So, you know, a few bugs, but less than before and we're getting in the really, really, um, you know, mainstream area now. Now, um, uh, some posts <clears throat> that I've seen from Donna Sarkar seem to hint that they're going to try to actually have a um, build come out this week again. So if you are having issues 
or if you are you know waiting to see will there be something else there will be something this week apparently so there could be another build friday i wouldn't be surprised but we're really close to you know the real deal and that's going to be interesting to see um still pretty much full indications that we are to have the official uh, release to ma mainstream next week so that is pretty much what they promised and still is what should be for insiders basically and uh, you know stable build once again for me except on one of my machines my home machine that I actually use to broadcast on my big screen TV the one that you see in my live shows actually has an issue uh, today with the start menu not working and the uh, action center not working if I restart seems to fix the issue but I don't know if it's a recurring issue or if it's something that you know didn't um, just work well today but um, I've, I've, I've seen that there but I don't see it here here when I look at my you know menus they, they work fine I haven't had any issues with that so basically um, it, it doesn't seem to happen here on this uh, build on this machine so once again you know shows you that each machine machine is very unique and could have its own unique problems in here but apart from that works fine and uh, it uh, seems to be a great build and of course we'll be uh, checking out if another build appears this week of course check out the channel we'll uh, inform you about that as soon as it happens if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and uh, hope that you enjoy my videos thank you so much for following us and uh, we're pretty close to uh, having the real deal here so uh, I think this is uh, exciting moments for insiders and you know consumer in general <laughs>